So today we are going to play Moss for the very first time. I've been excited for this game for a while. I know I was going to play it, so I haven't even played the demo. I like going into the games pretty much clueless. But I, we did a little article about how the like what the game is about, and so I know the general theme and idea of the game. My right off the bat, game looks very good. I'm using a original PS4, so I don't have a Pro, but it still looks very good. And you use a DualShock controller. The controller is moving this little blue bubble. So I essentially just open this book, and this is where the story begins. The Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night... The animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment Hexed, but the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus. Commander of the King's Guard led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Where is she at? Oh. Oh, there. Quill was out adventuring so along the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. So adorable. It's so tiny. I mean, like a mouse should be. I feel like that's a huge. Oh, geez, stupid freaking birds. Vultures. I want to punch it. Too bad I couldn't just like interact with the hawk and choke its neck. Show you to go after quail.
She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. It's like a little, it's like a little mini rat Zelda, essentially. It's exactly what this reminds me of. Yeah, go get him. Alright. Now what? Oh, I see. I have to remember, isn't it? Yeah, okay. X is to jump. Jump! Oh, nice. There we go. I feel like the fun is it's just a cute little mouse. Like, it's so adorable. I feel like that is the whole reason people are losing their mind over this game. It's, it's perfect. When they were choosing a protagonist, I mean... You can't hate a cute little mouse. So that's pretty cool. That I can just, uh... Essentially... Look wherever, although it doesn't... I don't really know how that helps me. There. Jump! Night. Her uncle often warned was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to jump. The oh no. I guess I have to go up top. Ooh, I don't even know if I can fit up there. Get up there, little rat. You little rascal, so well, this isn't good right off the bat. I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? It can't swim. Well, now I feel like a horrible person. Cute little rat buddy just totally drowned her. Oh, wait, no, she's okay. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure that meant that I killed her, but. She looks fine. Yeah, it's gonna be horrible when you die. You're gonna feel like an awful person. Why? So I need to go up there. So obviously... I have to... Actually, I think that was probably okay. Right there. Because I can hop up over all this crap and go out there. The thing is, how do I get over here? I thought it. I don't feel anything. I was going to say I can move it somewhat over. And then have her... I feel like this shouldn't be that hard, but I'm totally making it difficult. It's probably something super simple and I just can't figure it out. Okay, I can... Alright, can't destroy that. Jump! Nope. Come on, get up there. Ready? Jump! Nope. Pretty far from that, actually. Jump! Why can't... Oh, I made that. Why can't you jump up on stuff? Oh, that was a cool little move. Too bad you couldn't do that cool little move. Somewhere useful. Okay, guys. What am I missing here? There's gotta be a simple explanation to this. I know I need to be right here. 
But what am I doing? Ooh, what's that? There's got to be a simple explanation to why I can't get this stupid thing. This isn't supposed to be a... Uh... This is supposed to be a problem solver type of game. Am I... Is there something else I'm missing? So she can't go in there or she drowns. Um She seemingly cannot make that jump. Oh, she just Oh, she was even she was close. I guess that's just a very deep pool. So, I made it to like the third screen and got stuck. So that's cool. You can tell I'm uh, real good at this, huh? But it doesn't take away from the fact that it definitely looks very good. It's pretty. It's a cool perspective in that you move. I, I didn't know how I was going to like a 2D game. Because VR is obviously all about you being in it. But this... Is pretty good. Oh, why can you not? Why can't you just get up there? There, oh my goodness. It's about ready to say. It's not as easy as you would think, but that's alright. But the, yeah, I didn't know how I'd like the 2D game. I mean, Pop Up Pilgrims was pretty cool, but that's just because it was so aesthetically pleasing. How do I pick that up? Nice. Woohoo. I don't know what that was, but I got something. Ooh, I could keep going that way. I think. Maybe not. It probably blocks you. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's blocking me. Yeah, I can't. I can't get over there. I could try. I'm very impressed in how this looks like I'm in a forest. Like, the things that aren't supposed to be in-game, obviously. But, like, over here to the right, like, that stuff, it really does look like I'm in a forest. So, I'm, I'm impressed. They did a very good job with the graphics to make everything look so good. Oh, yeah. Grab that. The goods... See if I can get up here. Oh yeah, you can do it. All right. Oh yeah. Go, 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 Mousy, go, Mousy, go. There it is. I can't tell exactly what that does, but it does something good. Okay. Oh, I got open these, huh? There we go. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure I'm assuming this is a good guy. How do I talk to him? I don't want to draw my weapon. Oh. Okay, maybe he's not a talker. Someone in this town's gotta talk to me. And I cannot get up into the place that looks like very much like a door. More cute rats. 
Oh, I'm gonna beat you in your house. I'm gonna, oh, dang, I'm still stuck. Dude's fishing, that's cool. Can't get over there either. Well, I guess at least they do a decent job in blocking you into areas that you can't go. No, my mouse. Well, I think that was the right idea. I just didn't do very well. Poor Quill is going to die a lot with me, it looks like. Because I suck. It kind of is unfortunate that, uh... It's kind of hard to do. Jump! All right. Well, now what? Okay. Oh. I didn't tell you you could do that. Just so I need to get over here. Come on. Oh my, you have to be kidding me. Half my life. Stupid thing won't let me jump. Gosh, it won't let me get out of the stupid trough. Well, another death for Quill. I think we are up to four. Already killed four times. I've been playing for like 15 minutes. And at ease, probably easily the easiest stages of the game. So, that's cool. There we go. Made it that time. Seriously, can you not get it? Okay, I was like, can you not get up there, little mouse? I'm not exactly sure what she is. Like, what's in those scrolls? Looks like rocks or something, but that doesn't sound right. So. Come around here. How the heck am I supposed to get on there? Oh, that sucks. This is going to be pretty darn hard, I can tell you that much. Gosh, come on. Why? I just feel like that's so unnecessary. Well, it's a platformer, a not, it's more fun than a 2D platformer, but unfortunately, I'm just not a huge platformer guy, like, that was a rude of gaming, I guess, though, so, like it, I don't know, I don't like these type of games, I didn't, uh, I'm sure it's not super platformy. -y. Hopefully, once we start seeing enemies, it's a little bit more about the combat. If it's about this stuff right here. Like, I just, I don't understand how, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to jump off, but she gets caught on the little lip of the mill. Which I know that, so I'm trying to run 
forward so she's off of the lip, but that also doesn't work. So, I don't know. Okay, well that worked well. Man, do we have to do all this again? Great. That last one, that's a beast of a thing to do. I would not say that traverse there is trivial in the slightest. Oh, come on, why do you have tiptoe? I guess it's a house. I'm just gonna like kinda stand up. It's not this one. I don't... Maybe instead of, oh, I see, instead of jumping toward the small, little, like, ledge, like, I was trying to have her run toward me and then jump on that little ledge, maybe I should just straight up jump across. That might be better. What do you know? She got caught again. So this, can't say I'm really having fun here. It looks good. I can give it that. The, I mean, the controls are good. Like, they're doing exactly what I want. It's just tricky jumps and things. So, that's a little... I don't know if I want to say disappointing, but... I, I just don't like these types of games. It would be nice if it gave you some type of, I guess it's only one screen. I was going to say it would be nice if they gave you some type of like continue where you last left off rather than putting you all the way back, but it's just one screen. And unfortunately it's this screen that takes a little while to get to the other side to where I keep dying. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Thank gosh. Screw this. Uh, there it is. Now I have to get. Your friend, Bill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Oh my! And I just died. I hate this. That is horrible. And there's no way it's gonna be. Oh my gosh. Well. The old first impression is an oh thank God they did me a favor here oh my would have been horrible so that was very nice of them I appreciate that very much I would much rather fight enemies than try to do platform jumps like this I struggled pretty the mightily the there. She shared with her uncle. Hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now. 
Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. I like how they ride squirrels. That's pretty funny. The it's pretty good. I like that. Little mice riding squirrels. Two cute little rodents together. Ooh. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. Will called out. Hey, Starthing, wait! Kind of seems like it would be a trap, right? Quill had never met a Starthing. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. I'm not exactly sure what these colorful confetti things do yet but they've got to be good right so I might as well hit all of the barrels and things while I'm passing them Will demanded answers Starving you can't just barge in here with your riddles where is he? What do you know? Seems like it should be something, right? Maybe not. The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Nice. 
This way, kid, urged the starling. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. How the heck was I supposed to know she wouldn't be able to swim in that little stupid thing went right over it. Okay, so now what do I do? Oh, I see. Now I see. Deer eat mice? I don't think so. So they, yeah, there's no way they eat mice. We're probably I. Right. Okay. All right, break those twigs. I don't really know what these scrolls do. I feel like it's pretty obvious you're supposed to collect them, but I don't, I don't really know what they do. Okay, so that uh, thing is all the way over there. Jump! No, it was worth a try. Worth a try. Jump. Well, there's your uncle Squirrel. Just on the other side is the Meyer. The starting is short her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Just want to be sure I'm not forgetting anything over here. Nope, I don't think so. Oh. Pretty cool environment. Looks good. Is both like cartoonish but creepy still. Like it. It's a unique atmosphere and feeling to the game, but in a definitely a good way. The starling seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. Exactly, no app in there. 
She was going to die. I put my thing over her and healed her. So I guess that's good to know. I'm checking for any more like little scrolls that maybe I missed. Something over here I can Oh there we go. Nailed it. Stupid little briars. Oh I like how you really have to move your head to uh There it is. Make this crap. I can't see. This is where, is there a scroll there? It'd be a good place for a scroll. It's cool, I actually like stood up and now I'm looking. I don't see a scroll or anything, so. I'm just gonna keep, I just feel like why would there be thorns there? Seems suspicious, but I'm gonna leave it be. Maybe I'll come back to it another time. Oh, nice. That was close. thing can't be good. Move. Oh, already. Okay, so things... Sucker? Heal her? Oh, apparently not. Dang. Takes quite a few hits for his little suckers. I guess you are a mouse. trees fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power she sized up quill with a rueful gaze then turned her attention upward i sense you there too I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. 
A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Theta thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them. First. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold, before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer, she's minuscule. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. Sweet. New sword. Is there? I bet there's a scroll up. Oh, there's a scroll right there, though. Ooh, that's the way. That's how they're going to get people. One wrong jump. It's going to make a... Uh, that would suck. Jump. Nice. Look at Quill go. Go, 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 go. This is... Jump! Oh, yeah, one more. All right. Will's favorite story. How Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane and secured the survival of their kinds. Simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt like a great honor. Looking for scrolls. Looking, there's one.
the heck, man? Jump up on that platform. Okay, I'm just gonna jump behind it. Whatever. Oh, what? Dude, I totally happened upon that. I had no idea that was there. Oh, dude, that was a dirty one. I got lucky. Why can't... Okay, I can go through. I can go through here. I feel like that's... Oh, what? Can I move it a little closer? There we go. Yeah, that one was tough. I wonder if you miss a scroll. I wonder if there's like a level select or something. I wonder, surely you wouldn't have to replay the whole game and be super, just take your time. Like, that would be dirty if you had to play the whole game just to, oh, jeez. Well, they're going to be easier to kill this time for sure. They're easier now that you have, uh... Run! Get rocked! This thing coming right out the gate. Oh, you made a fatal mistake! So I guess maybe you charge up your crystal, and that is what uh, allows you to heal Quill, I think. All right. Stop, no. Jump! All right, all right. One more down the hole. I wonder how many there are. There's one about on every screen. So there's gotta be quite a, there's gotta be a lot of them. See, there's one right here too. Huh, how to get that one? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get all these. thought I saw. Apparently I do not. <laughs> Too bad I couldn't pull that myself. I can't get up there. I can get up here. Oh, nice. Drop down. There we go. Yeah, pull that out here. Yeah, get up there. Nailed it. Let's see. Oh. Stupid thing. 
One jump. Oh yeah. Get rocked. Oh, what? Oh, do you have to con- I bet you have to convince. Oh, I wonder how you do that. Run! Oh. Dang tracking crapped out on me too. Oh, you have to be. Come on. That sucks. Jumped right off the edge. Well, at least I don't have to get that. Oh, you have to be kidding me. <sighs> Stuff like this, it just annoys me more than like. I don't enjoy this. This isn't good gameplay. It's freaking annoying. You've just. Gosh, what? I don't know what the heck you're supposed to do. You need a freaking way to freeze them or something. If you hit them once, do they? No, they don't stay there if you hit them. Of course not. Go, go, go. Thank goodness. About time. Oh, great. They put you... There's no way you gotta get two of them. You serious? Ooh. Oh, you can force the... Who... I would have never guessed that you can grab them and force them <laughs> to come whatever way you wanted. How... Did I miss something in which it showed you how? I don't know how to pick them up and put them over here, though. Oh, unless Quill is supposed to do one. And... One of these guys, the other. Get 
get out. Oh. Why? That's so stupid. Why can you not jump over things short? Come on. This is an interesting game design, I'll give him that. This takes some uh, thinking for sure. This wasn't a screen that they just plopped on here with no rhyme or reason. I didn't really see what opened which is a problem was it I think it was that gate up there now how I get up there that's a good freaking question also how do I get out of here oh do I have to Why I kept them on there? That's some bull crap. Oh, they just. can be when she's climbing up something. Go oh, golly, she's slow. Heal that up. I want that stupid scroll too. They want you to do. Delay the movements. Um, okay. That worked out. That was an adventure for sure. Where the heck am I? Oh. Oh. Sorry, ch charge that sucker up. That totally sucked to fall down there again. No, thank you. I wonder if there's a. 
Now I'm paranoid. There's like scrolls in places you can't really see because of that one. I think that was it. You come over here, sucker. Little mouse hole. Why can't she get down there? Okay. Well, got that. Seems like we need to get him. Oh, that's in case I kill this villain. Another one's gonna pop out. Oh, I bet I see. That sucks. Gotta get him to go in here. Close the door on him. Come on. And then Quill has to jump up there. There's gotta be a scroll in here, right? I'm gonna stand up. I don't I don't see one, but I feel like this would be a perfect spot for us somewhere here. Okay, let me check this out. I like the high fives, that's cool. I have a pretty good feeling, I probably missed the scroll here. I can't imagine there not being one. But, the show must go on, I looked. There's two two areas in which I can go here. Go down there. I feel like they want you to go this way. And the game hasn't really tried to trick you much, so I feel like this is accurate. Oh, I have to light all these. There it is.
Well, I thought there it was. Okay, well. That's alright. We'll make a little detour over here. Oh, I knew it. You want to know why I knew it over here? It's all because of Doom VFR. That's exactly what they did for one of their Doom dolls. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, wait. Man, that's, that's tricky. It's good. This isn't as um, cryptic as the one in Doom VFR. Because that one, that one sucked. It was like... There's no way you would know unless you messed up and almost died. But, bro, let me guess. There's gonna be bad guys coming out of that hole. I knew it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, oh, they shoot crap? That's bunk. Get up there. Oh. Ah, oh, stupid tracking. Okay, I'm gonna take a few hits to kill him, but. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, do they just keep showing up? Dang, that's tough. You almost have to do this before, uh... Before they even get to you. Oh, no. Got rocked. Jump. Oh, there's a score right there too. Exactly what I wanted, you fool. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to redo this because I want that scroll. What? You have to kill all of them too? I thought they just came back. I don't know how you're expected to sit, just stand on this thing while they open fire. There's no way. Oh, stupid. Chomp up there, man. There's literally, there's no way. Not without getting hit once, at least. Stupid things. Killer.
Some bull crap. It's just kind of kind of reminds me of Zelda a little bit. I haven't played any of the recent Zeldas. The last one I played, I think, was like Ocarina of Time, and it was it was kind of like this. So. I wonder if this is what Zelda's like nowadays. Someone listening can, uh, or watching at some point can let me know because I... Okay, I have a feeling that's probably not a good thing. That looks as if it would hurt me. Okay. This isn't easy to control. Look, he's just moving anywhere he wants. Come on. It's too hard to control the guy. There it is. Oh, come on. Such bullcrap. It's impossible to accurately. So look, he wasn't even toward that way. Just like wherever it wants to shoot, it's gonna shoot. Come this way, come on. Oh, come on, man. So these parts of the game I really don't like. I don't think they're fun. Like, how much am I, I might be missing something. Like, I don't know what it wants. I guess this could have just in general made it. Oh, I still can't do it even when I'm four feet away. I'm not sending it that way. Look. I'm pointing, he's pointed over there. Oh, crap. 
crap is that annoying? Look, why are you shooting it that way? Stop. There's something's something's amiss. It's literally going straight ahead. So must be a control thing. Now it works, of course. Freaking sucks. Screw this thing. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Well, I guess I go through here, eh? Oh, more of them? Okay, I don't have the patience. I am going to continue our multi-part moss playthrough probably tomorrow. Wow, what a big, uh, pretty big nummy. Now he saw me. Okay, why would I think he could get back on there? Oh, all this stuff was for a scroll. I was wondering, I was like, there's probably a scroll here. That's where the scroll's at. Oh, I, you can't make that, can you? No, it won't let you have to get up there. Did you have to kill this guy? Easily done. But... That didn't do it. Shouldn't have done that one. Oh. Well, now I feel like a little bit of a goob. Well, that's not what I wanted. to go up here and then haul that then 
And it's gonna bring one of the stupid shooty spiders. Ugh. Of course. Of course. Actually, I have to get this thing. Get me up here. can't get up there you can't can't grab it great so somehow it has to hit both of these fantastic there's one 